Welcome back, everyone. This is Eric Malkavian, and indeed, I am in the Outer Worlds, the Halcyon system. The Space is Choice Edition. Of course, I am the Stranger, Jace Ryder. And let's continue. Whew, we got a lot to do. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to do. And choices to make. I've been giving some thought. <clears throat> First thing I have to give thought to is correcting this. So we've been asked to take a look at this key. Sucker bait. Where's this at on the map? We've been there. Go this way anyway to get to Devil's Peak, so actually we can fast travel it. This is how we do in the outer world. Let's, Let's, it. Let's dance! So, uh, Nyoka, I tried your suggestion. What? About my special purple berry vodka. You said I should throw in a dash of terror ray blood. 
So I did. Oh. Oh, hell. You didn't get the runs, did you? Poisonous. Well, I mean, no. <clears throat> uh, not for long, anyway. Why do you ask? You gotta boil the blood, Felix, before mixing it all up. I really wish you would have told me that earlier. Oh, jeepers. Still got it! That got the animals. Is that the way we're supposed to be going? Yeah. Last time I came up here, we didn't have the key. I was told. Bastard set up on the road. I thought Nayoka and uh, Body were here. Turn these fools to goo. Should have been anything left here. But I don't want to. Boy, we're doing this. Something ain't to work for. My shoe goes. Oh, my shoe broke. That's the Do last one. Right, kid. Still breathing? I know we destroyed everything that was here, but more came back.
get ready. I think we're gonna have visitors. My bet is the store is going close behind us. Can't be this easy. Cannot be this easy. Nicely done. Close your work order. Work order status. Tunnels are in. Cables are laid. Devil's Peak is receiving, but we're waiting on signal confirmation from the outpost. The whole place stinks of sulfur. Should have brought mask. Sure, I heard something in the cavern beneath the tower. Something's living there. Here's hoping we don't unsettle it, or else that place ain't gonna be safe for our cable guys. Recording engineer at Walkless. Got a signal from Amber Heights, Stellar Bay, Cascadia. Still waiting on word from Bayside Terrace and Aurora Ridge. Where's that? I ought to note that I was right about those caverns. They ain't safe. Some kind of hell. I don't know. Big thing with claws. I ain't an animal scientist. <laughs> Can't wait to get the hell off this rock. Closer of work order 211. Work order has been completed. The substation will now be disabled and closed off. It should be noted that the lead engineer, Frank Wolkowitz, has perished due to a workplace accident involving a hostile wildlife in Devil's Peak Cavern. We further noted that Mr. Wolf Wolkowitz complaints regarding the dangers Terra 1 wildlife have been redacted. How's you? Okay. Do hostile. Alright. Manual log entry. Gonna die for this damn foil, and I know it. He said Amber Heights was gonna have more bits than we can spend. But those suited morons up and spent it all for us. Books and bases and pretty dreck. You can't eat a book. Look at us now. Of all the closets, poop up in, lick our wounds. We had to choose the one that set to lock itself up. Feel like a marauder digging at the walls like this, but we gotta get out before we starve. It ain't possible with Melson over there is trying to keep our spirits up. I don't get the energy to find him on it. Screw that Bryant fellow. Eyes bigger than his stomach. Gun out. Set up and a half. Seems like a set up and a half. Alright. 
I want to see that. Uh, Pains, giving the rest the sulfur degradation you spent sitting in the dirt. Be a miracle if anything can be found. Still, Zora would be interested in seeing this. I would be interested in reading it. Up and a half. Better keep your hand on the gun because you got me on the run. Gotta be a setup. Gotta be a setup, kid. It's gotta be a setup. Let's get our gear in shape. gear and shape. We're all set. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Found a box of data cartridges. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. No just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. No fooling. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes.
<sighs> Boy, let's be careful. Yeah, I know he did. Well, I don't know. That's the reason why he has all this guilt. need to take out those executives and their families and all the hired help I know he's got his head in the clouds but I always believed there was a core of good there what the hell happened to live and let live I always figured Mr. Bryant for a man of character in the end though he was just another name on a long list of frauds yeah he had us all fooled now I've got to sort out how to break it to the rest of my people. Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. We gotta talk about this. Well, come on, son. I'm certainly not gonna talk about it here. I feel like getting shot, and I don't. Alright. Let's talk about it. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Right. It's about Graham Bryan, right? At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Graham's a piece of trash, that's why. That's putting a kindly boss. Graham's worse than trash. He's a traitor. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Never. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. What do you think? What's up? Sure. Oh, never mind. All right. Let's go. Nope. Yeah, when it comes to uh, slaughtering a whole bunch of people and walking away, I'm going to walk away. All right, so she needs to think about that. See the information broker. Probably gonna have to find our way down. If you're living up in a tower on a place called Devil's Peak, you might be some type of serial villain. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. Well, you know, these things were built to last. Maybe not in the. Intended to survive a uh, sulfuric acid laden uh, environment. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. That's good. Where is that? Where 
is that Verity? Grab that Verity, where'd he go? Oh well. I'm not sure. Things that we forgot along the way. Jumbakta, glass for every class. Elevator. Environmental control installation key card. The new environmental control terminal is now installed running upstairs. Congratulations. You message corporate about it, you you get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. Preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections. Because I sure as hell will not allow a station efficiency scores to plummet. Due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed. Okay, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. Wow. Oh. Oh, I could have used that. Place that is the elevator. This is a maze. All right, let's go see the wizard.
Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to yeah, believe you yeah, have sweet, yeah, sweet yeah, news for me. Yeah. Shut up. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? You don't want to know the details. Blood everywhere, bodies all over the place. Ugliest job we ever done. Hmm, is that so? I helped both MSI and the Iconic class get what they wanted. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Phineas doesn't trust many people. How'd you hook up with him? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch right. with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. <laughs> oh, oh, apologies. You meant, right, yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Yeah, but I have a whole new checklist of crap to do before it works, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. My ass. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Yeah. Except it needs three keys for it to activate and I have to go find them, right? Eternal, no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? <laughs> However... You're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Oh, I yes. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, got it. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Let's get out of here. All right, so. Why the hell can he just throw a switch himself? All right, now a message for our sponsors. Tired of itchy acid burns? Try Onycleos. All right, oh. I'd like to remind employees that this is no way responsible for the highly unfortunate, realistically probable chaos. case of loss of life in this facility. Accessing. Within minimal, okay. Begin broadcasting? Am I supposed to be here? <laughs> but I can read the personnel mess. Personal files. Memorandum. Fierce guys. Dare I say the future is looking bright indeed. I can run the full gamut of operations without even leaving the sanctuary of the broadcast room. Sandra and Graham are living up to their promises. I have not interfered with. I'm not. Yeah. The deal's holding and I, I can believe I can make a life here. Sneaky, sneaky. Had a near miss the other day. Nearly ended up with the board on my trail. We will mark that trial firmly in the failure category. One must experiment, however, to ascertain the best method. I have found thus far that the most reliable method for evading detection within limited frequency of Monarch's off-world transmissions follows duplicating regular news broadcasts on several 
unused frequencies. My information gathering associates know how to filter out the sounds in the bulk range, really? Turn isolating the embedded data. The board's authorities are none the wiser. Playing hazard has never been so thrilling. You playing hazard? Pox it all. Those imbecile children and their hatred of each other. Sanjar and Graham have oversaturated my key bands. They'll take out each other all right and me right alongside them. Should have never invited them to play. What to do about it? Now to do. <laughs> he was playing bloody uh, a bloody game. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. This sounds really dangerous. <sighs> All right, get ready for it. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Make me come back in there. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. All right. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota yeah, of a prickly do. exterior. But I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram! Hiram, are you there? Alright. Hey, well, someone's... Ugh. Ah, redeeming group hug. Not without a physical contact waiver. Anyway. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. You guys are acting like children. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. I'm gonna go see where that ship landed. Yeah. Um. Oh crap, how the hell did we get down from here? I hate this place, it's a bloody maze. Ah, 
sorry. That's not worth it. Let's just die as God damn it. Sorry. Um pretty crazy, huh? So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? Yeah. And I don't see an insta coffee in your hand. So about to cost Yes, you. the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? Um. Um. What do you think the board has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you. Just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. Oh, now I'll never sleep. Unsolved puzzles really torque my sprockets. All right. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. All right. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? Give my regards to Phineas. All right. Before we get on a rant, as you look like you're getting ready to get on, go on a rant. Hear that my tip. I think as long as we keep going this way. Alright. Wow, that was hardcore. <laughs> Gotta get that ship. Sure. A minute. Guess Fallbrook will be right behind us, guys. Good thing we came loaded for bear. So, gunship, gunship. Could still stick the landing. Help the chairman and Minister Clark. <clears throat> All right, so we need to head north. Yeah, shit, kid. <clears throat> you don't 
don't think I'll chew in the outer world. I am. You don't think I'll shoot. You okay, so breathe. You don't think I'll shoot in the outer world. Stuck the landing on that one. Let's get to that ship in the outer world. Time for us to go. Oh, yeah. You don't think I'll chew in the outer world. I don't think I'll choose in the outer world. You don't think I'll choose in the outer world. I'll chew in the outer world. Mm. This gun will chew in the outer world. Okay, you don't think I'll chew in the outer world. Think I'll choose in the outer world. You don't think I'll choose in the outer world. Let's get around this corner over here. You don't think I'll chew in the outer world. You don't think I'll chew in the outer world. You don't think this gun will chew in the outer world. I don't think this gun will grow in the outer world. You don't think this gun will grow? Do a backflip, bitch. Get over here and die. Yeah, 
Wrong. Ah, we gotta get to that ship. in here, kid. Oh. Jack, Captain's Master, Command Chief. Run diagnostic. Operation status have received several damage ranges. Cost of any repairs necessary at your nearest UDL repair facility or average amongst the crew. Okay. Error. Unable to access central log storage. Only the most recent entries. Captain Matsu's logs are available. CE saying. Something about spear regular bypass something something. Chicka show. I'm turning this thing towards the groundbreaker. Firing up the engines and retiring. Better to be arrested than lose power and drift out into space. I just hope this old bird can handle one last trip. How in the law of forsaken colony is it so impossible to reconcile parts? My chief engineer is barking at me. To order yet another damn thing, I can't even get a response from corporate. January 3rd. Another day, another ship lands at Terra 1, and we can't shoot them down. That makes I've lost control. What's the point of being out here if we can't get some backup? going on here is uh, complete complete breakdown of everything
So let's go, guys. What's on your mind? Well, to ask yeah, sure thing. Powerful. Ask away. What's he doing on Scylla? I've been thinking about that. Scylla's about as far away from civilization as I can imagine. Cold, barren rocks and the occasional mining operation. Clyde wasn't exactly a prospector. I guess we'll find out when we get there. He said he was your mentor. Yeah. I was just a lonely orphan kid getting my knuckles dirty. Clyde? I want to say he saw some potential in me. Like as not, he just took pity on me. So he took me in. Gave me a place to live. Gave me something to believe in. Why so you think you might be in trouble? That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. Clyde. He was a blustery old cuss. Carried on about violent revolution and seizing the means of production. He must have some enemies, the way he's talking about revolution. Clyde wasn't an idiot. He kept his head down, worked hard. Did as he was told. You're not gonna catch him standing on a soapbox decrying the tyranny of the board. But when the Mardettes had their backs turned, oh yeah, he carried on about starting a revolution. Said he was gonna do something big. Okay. That sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble. All right. To ally with MSI. Okay. out of here. Is that just a rock formation? I got some big ass monsters out here though. I'll tell you that. My gun gun chew him. Try to cut our way through this mess. There's something out here. Something deep out here. Something they buried out here. Out here in the wilderness. Try something. They buried something out here. What is that? Right, shoot, Bill. We'll take care of him. Everyone, all right. 
Everyone still breathing? Mm. Good God! Everyone still breathing? You gotta know what's up in here. know what's up in here. I think we need to end the map. <laughs> ah. Ordinance control. And a lot of loot up here. Some nimble fingers, Captain. Thanks. <laughs> Pick up a nice little loot, too. All right. There's a lot of secret stuff still going on here. Like this place? What in the world is it doing out here? Well. Yeah. We can't go any further. I haven't found a way to go further. Um, yeah, all roads lead east. Back towards, you know, Terra One. How you doing? Everybody still breathing? Oh, 
got caught on something next level. My shoe feel good passing. Yeah. Everyone all right? Everyone still breathing? Yeah, these guys never stood a chance, man. Yeah, these guys never stood a chance. Good thing I brought uh, you two. Uh, we're leaving, guys. We're leaving. Son of a bitch.
son of a bitch. Don't make me have to kill you, fool. Move along. I don't have time for this. All right, I need to review some tape. We are going to bypass, we can't bypass the uh, MSI, but let's go back to the, uh, the reliable. I need to, to review the message that I got from both of them. I think they want to use it on one or the other. I'm not doing that. Okay. So this has been Eric Malkavian. Of course, I've been in the outer world. I can't make a decision, but I need to review the messages. I want to be sure of what I'm doing. Okay, thank you very much. You take care. Goodbye.